Uh, volunteer tourism in Jamaica will receive a boost through the efforts of members of the Virginia State University class of 1968. They are led by the United States Ambassador Pamela Bridgewater and 22 members of this graduating class, fondly called the Moonlighters. Okay, the ambassador <laughs> is on set with us along with Dr. Larry Leverick, the executive director of Panasonic Foundation, and Yolanda Kearney, who is one of our co hosts here <laughs> at the Public Affairs <laughs> Office at the United States Embassy. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. to Smile Jamaica. It's our pleasure, Ambassador. First time to television. In Jamaica. First time. Why did it take you so long, ma'am? Well, just been working busily in Jamaica. What about that? Before we get to why you're here, tell me about how that's been for you since coming to Jamaica. Not your first posting. No, it's not my first posting, but this posting as ambassador representing President Obama clearly has just been uh, a highlight for me. It's given me an opportunity to reconnect with Jamaica, with Jamaicans, and with all that this wonderful country has to offer. Okay. Reconnect. You had a relationship before. Of course. I served here 25 years ago as a political officer and the labor attache. So I know many people in this wonderful country of yours. Why, why, why politics in the, in the, in the first place? I, I, I don't know if it, I think it's worldwide, but especially here. You hear they're all corrupt and stuff like that. <laughs> why do well, you want to get involved in politics It's in not the first politics place? that I'm involved in. It's diplomacy. That's right. And it's Which a difference. And it's an opportunity to help uh, people listen, learn from each other, and to forge ways that they can move ahead uh, to develop positive okay. things in their okay. countries. And this was one of the ways that you wanted to do it, um, to deepen the ties that we have with the U.S. In, in a way such as this that makes a real difference. So tell us a little bit about um, this particular project. Well, today we're celebrating Memorial Day in the United States. And, um, Lots of barbecues and stuff going on today. Well, barbecues, but a lot more than barbecues. And that's why uh, Larry Leverett, Dr. Leverett, is here. He's a, a veteran. Uh, we have several others visiting. And it's about service. And um, the Moonlighters are here today to serve. Um, they're here as tourists, some for the first time in Jamaica. But they didn't want their first time to just be fun. They wanted to do something. So our theme for Jamaica at 50 is celebrating the ties that bind. Some of the guests have been to Jamaica before and are returning. And so this is a way to combine fun with service. Mm -hmm. Tourism with a purpose, as it were. But service is fun, so it's, service it's fun all around. Right. Yes. Um, Dr. Leverett, you must have seen is the organization that you've chosen to, to work with um, to benefit from uh, this volunteer tourism. Why must it see? Must it see is a, a history of, of commitment to the children and families of Jamaica. They have uh, high quality programs and services, support systems uh, for children in the Jamaican society who have significant needs and if there is the place to be of service, it is with mustard seed. And, and Yolanda, tell me exactly what will happen. How, how, how is all this going to work? Well, I'll let Dr. Leverett talk about um, exactly what the service project will be. But uh, just as a broader theme, uh, as you know, we have worked very, very hard at the embassy since Ambassador Bridgewater's arrival to uh, do have a service uh, aspect to everything that we present. Our long-standing blues on the green, for example, mm -hmm. we've taken on uh, a service aspect with that. We've asked people to uh, make that a food drive. So again, it's you can have a great time doing anything, but why not also get some work done? Let uh, Dr. Leverett tell you a little about what they'll be doing today. This morning, uh, we'll have 22 people, moonlighters, from, uh, who are all classmates of, of Ambassador Bridgewater, and we will be reading to children. Uh, we will plant a vegetable garden, uh, and we will uh, have joining us Diane Brown, who is the celebrated Jamaican children's author. Okay. Um, Ambassador, are you going to be involved here or are you just going to stunt? Oh, I'm going to absolutely be involved. I have a garden in my backyard on Paddington where I grow callaloo, <laughs> where I grow scotch bonnet, where I grow um, tomatoes. You're eating what you grow and growing what you eat. I eat what I grow and I grow what I eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I even had, I have ackee, of course, which I love, but I also have a small little sorrel bush back there. Where do you find, Sorry. Time? Where do you find time to do all that? Well, that's a relaxing thing yeah. for me. Yeah. And to see something grow, it's it's wonderful. And then you can eat it, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is today the sum total of the work, or will there be, will there be more projects? To um, today is the, the first opportunity that we have to serve here in Jamaica, and we are looking forward to working with Mustard Seed to identify future projects that we, as a, a group of moonlighters and Virginia State graduates, could uh, continue to build an affiliation with the 
with this organization. Can I, can I just jump in? Moonlighters Ambassador? Where did that come from? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now let the ambassador explain that. Exactly. Well, he's blushing, so maybe he's one. Well, you know, um, <laughs> when you're at university, you do a lot of things to have some fun. Sometimes you do it in the moonlight. <laughs> Careful, And ambassador. if you're lucky, you can remember what you did. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, Dr. Leverett and 22 others are still here. <laughs> so clearly He's we did still blushing. Right. You are still blushing. We're still Dr. trying to remember. Now, but let me tell you this. Some of them are, you know, founding, founding moonlighters. Others of us are honorary members. Uh, okay. Is there still a, a, a moonlighter group at the university, though, no, or that's it? No, there was a, uh, we were in a, an original, <laughs> unique uh, group <laughs> that has uh, persisted for well over four decades, and we're looking for forward to a good future but of moonlighting. <laughs> 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 it's good for everybody to see each other and yes. get together. So are you going to try and make this about something more than mustard seed and get ambassador, to I'm see sorry, Jamaica? Sorry. And is, is that your, uh, your ambassador? <gasps> yes, it is. No way. <laughs> Where did that come from? Miss Virginia <laughs> State <laughs> University. What? You're yes. keeping secrets, yes, ambassador. Yes, she sure <laughs> is. For, um, 45 years ago. Homecoming huh? Queen. Homecoming Queen. Wow. Oh, wow. There you go. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what aspect of the moonlighting are we going to do outside of the, the giving back today? Are the 22 of you going to get together and we, see we, Jamaica? We, we've had wonderful fel fellowship. Uh, we've been to uh, several sites. We've been to the uh, monuments, uh, and observing and paying respect to the heroes of Jamaica. Uh, we had the uh, pleasure yesterday of going to Boone River, uh, Boone Hall, Boone Hall. Oh, Boone 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 okay. Ed, which okay. was a fabulous it uh, is uh, environment and wonderful food. Um, and today we're going to visit with uh, at the Bob Marley Museum. We're going to have ice cream uh, at the Devon House. Okay. Um, so we're but, it, but in a, a serious time. way, Ambassador, it is important <laughs> to volunteer. It is important to give it, back, isn't it? It's very important, and I think volunteerism clearly is one of the things that I feel really distinguishes us as a people, as Americans. We do a lot of volunteering, and it makes me very proud that my classmates are also volunteering, not just here in Jamaica, but back home. And back to one of the things you were asking about, a little bit of fun. Last evening, we had a special treat. We had the university oh, singers yeah. to perform three okay. numbers between two concerts that they had last night. And it was just a thrill of the reception that I hosted for my, my classmates last night. It was that wonderful. must have been fabulous. They were awesome. They were awesome. Moving. They were awesome. I want to thank Dr. Uh, Franklin uh, Halliburton uh, for making time for, for the singers to come up. It was beautiful. So, was so the dance state of Harlem has already performed, or is, it, is that a part of? They have performed yeah, they from have performed, uh, yeah. last Friday and Saturday okay. to packed houses. That must have been Lovely. brilliant. It, it was, was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. They were brilliant. So how do you ensure that more groups get involved in this kind of tourism. I know there are a number of folks who already come down from the U.S. doctors mm -hmm. and so yes. on who volunteer. Well, but you know, I kind, of, I kind of think that this is something that we are establishing here. We've chatted briefly with members of the Jamaica Tourist Board because they're always looking for new ways to do things. And why not have people not just come to the Kingston area to volunteer while they're touring, but you have such beautiful tourism products throughout this country. Uh, all the parishes have something to offer. Let's look at this as something that we can perhaps combine. Uh, you know, people do it with sun splash. Let's do it with blues on the green. Mm, yeah. Let's do it with other things. Have that component as something that we want people to really focus on. I think it's a win-win for all of us. People feel good when they can do something with and for other people. Yeah. So great to meet you, man. It's a pleasure to meet you Thank both. Thank you very, very much for coming in. Thank you. Have some good fun today. We're going to work hard. Ready. We're yes, going to do that. Daylighting. <laughs> Daylighting. 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 For the moonlighters. When, when we come off here, we'll find out and I'll tell you what this moonlight is. Family Bridge. And Dr. Leverett is still blushing, by the way. U.S. Ambassador to Jamaica, Dr. Larry Leverett, Executive Director of the Panasonic Foundation, and Yolanda Kearney, Public Affairs Officer at the United States Embassy. Thanks again, ma'am. Thank you both. And don't stay away from us uh, so long next okay. time, please.